Hey Sagittarius, it's about that time for your love reading. It's about that time. I'm going to give the quick disclaimer for my new viewers, subscribers. If you don't know who Cleo is, that's my kitty cat. You guys, she's in heat, so you may hear her like rubbing her body against things and knocking things over or scratching things up or even crying and whining. Um, I need to get her fixed soon because she's been acting like a fool for like the past week. Um, but Sagittarius, this is going to be your love reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, regarding the love connection with you and your love interests, whether that be someone who you are separated from, someone who you are currently with, someone who's just simply a crush, someone who you just have sexual relationship relations with. Um, you know, this is going to be about you and your love interests. So. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, always. If you'd like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box. Um, if you would like to book this specific love reading, which will be your energy, the mutual energy between you and your love interest, their energy, and then the future slash outcome, you can do so through the link in my description box, my website. And the service will be called Let's Chat About Love. If I'm not mistaken, it will be the very last service on my website. Um, so this is... That's basically the same reading that I'm doing now, but it would be a personal reading for you specifically instead of for the collective of Sagittarius. Okay, so let's dive right in. Sagittarius, who is your love interest? First off, give me a trait, a characteristic, something about their appearance. Oh, damn. Is this somebody that you ended things with? This could be a Scorpio, or they could have Scorpio placements. Is this somebody that you ended things with? Could also be your air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Is this somebody that you ended things with? We have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck too. Then the Five of Wands after that. Then the Five of Pentacles. What happened? What happened? Because it seems a tad bit chaotic. It seems like someone was possibly betrayed or felt like they were about to be betrayed, especially with this Ten of Swords. You can see the people was in the bushes with their swords getting ready to stab this person in the back. This person could be feeling like you were getting ready to stab them in the back. Is this somebody who ended things with you or did you end things with them? Clarification on this Ten of Swords. The Sun card, Leo energy, could be dealing with the Leo or they could have Leo placements. Clarification on this Death card. Whoa, I was not expecting this. Hold on now, hold on. We have the Two of Wands. Yes, yeah, somebody was stuck debating if they should end things or not. Could possibly still be debating if they should end things or not. But I feel like things has already ended. But it was very hard for you or this person to come to that decision to end things. What the hell? Even with the Sun card reverse, that's a lot of unhappiness. Possibly depression, possibly anxiety. Did this person like develop that but like in this connection or did you develop it what's going on here okay give me more of a backstory regarding this connection give me more of a backstory this could be someone who betrayed you and you had to end things with them as well oh okay give me give me another uh okay okay oh oh we got the three of cups and the tower card baby is this person the one who betrayed you is that why they're coming up as who is this person is that why this is coming up as who is this person because this is someone who betrayed you and you had to force yourself to walk away with the death card is this someone who betrayed you three of cups tower card is this someone who had you in a third party situation now it doesn't have to be a third party situation as in there was another man or another woman romantically or sexually it could just simply be they allowed their mother to get in their head or they allowed their family to get in their head or their friends to get in their head about y'all relationship about y'all connection either way it goes like i said i felt the chaotic energy sure enough the tower card came out what did this person put you through all right all right i was not expecting this this reading it seems like it's gonna get real deep real quick so i'm gonna go into your energy first about how you feel about your love interest and the connection so sagittarius sun moon rising venus what is your energy towards your love interest and the connection what is your energy towards your love interest and the connection one card at a time please one card at a time please 
So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or they could have Aquarius placements or you could be the one with Aquarius placements. Same thing with Libra. They could be a Libra or have Libra placements or you could be the one with Libra placements. Your energy, we have the Justice card, the Star card, and the Two of Swords. You, had a, you still have a lot of hope regarding this connection. You have a whole lot of hope regarding this connection. You feel like things can possibly still be worked out if they right their wrongs with that justice card. If they balance things out and right their wrongs, you feel as if, yeah, maybe I could look past this. Maybe I could put this blindfold on and look past what they did to me and get to this star card because I see them as a wish fulfillment or I see my future with them. I see this being someone who I can be with long term. So you still have hope for, towards the connection. And I don't blame you. You know, when you really love someone and they hurt you, it's always that part of you that wants them to prove you wrong. You know? So I don't blame you. I see that's your energy. I see that this person puts you through a lot. With that justice card, though, I see that you're really hoping that they'll sit there and make things right, even if it's just a simple apology. Mm. Okay, what else is my Sagittarius viewers' energy towards their love interest and the love connection? So we have Purge, Cycles, Fifth Dimension. So you know you had to let this person go. Conclusion at the bottom of the deck. You know you had to let this person go to work on yourself. You know that you had to purge yourself from this connection, from this person. You know you had to leave this person or else it was going to continue being the same cycle. So if this person did cheat on you with someone else, you knew if I stay, that's going to be a constant thing. That's going to be a repetitive type of thing. I have to purge myself from this. I have to let it go. Now, there is a possibility in the future with this 5D card, there is a possibility in the future that you two will come together. But... It's all about if this person works on their self. And to be quite honest, I don't feel like this person will be working on their self. You know, you, we never really know. We'll see when um, I get to their energy. But you know, although you have hope with that star card, you know that you had to let this person go. With this cycles card, it's like you had to swallow your pride. You had to think with your mind and not your heart. It's like this is your heart, right? You're holding it and putting it behind your back like... I'm not going to listen to you. I'm not going to listen to you. I have to listen to my mind. I have to be logical. I have to be smart about it. I have to let this person go. Yes, I still see a future with them. Yes, I feel like we will come together. But right now, I have to let them go. This is for the best. Like, I see you having to literally talk yourself into letting this person go. Now, let's get into the mutual energy between you and your love interest. So, my Sagittarius viewers, what is the mutual energy between them and their love interest? What is the mutual energy between them and their love interests? So we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Hermits. The Three of Pentacles also came out. And then we have the Queen of Cups. <sighs> you both want to try. You both want to try with one another. Y'all do. Yeah, both want to try with one another. We have the Hermit card, Virgo energy. You could be dealing with the Virgo or they could have Virgo placements or you could have Virgo placements. Y'all want to make things work. But the issue is, it's like how I said earlier, you want them to prove you wrong, right? So it's like a part of you is waiting for this person to apologize, to reach out, to prove you wrong. But then... This person is waiting for you to do the same. Like, I feel like you always try to make things right with this person, even when things isn't your fault. And they're used to that. They're used to you just giving and giving and giving. So it's like now the tables turn. You're waiting for them to reach out and try and make things right. But they're still used to how you used to act. So they're waiting on you to do the damn same. But with the Hermit card, I feel like you both understand that y'all need time apart. Y'all need time to grow. Y'all need time to heal in order to come back together and work on things. Because you can even see with this Three of Pentacles, it's only one person working on this little painting or whatever you want to call it. It's only one. It's three people here and only one is working on it. They know that if... Hold on, you guys. <laughs> I'm recording. 
I'm recording. Thank you. I don't know who that is. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> but, um, yeah, out of three people, it's only one person working on it. This person knows that they're going to need time apart to fix themselves, to grow up, to mature, to come back around, to actually work on things. And, I mean, actually work on things as in the both of y'all working on things. Not just you. I feel like it's always always you, 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 you working on things. Always you, you, you. Always you. But it's coming to a point that they're realizing it needs to be them too. But something about this third party, I feel like they also have someone else on the side. And they're like, okay, well, I can't fully work on this connection. I can't fully give myself because I have this person right here, you know, watching them too. Watching my Sagittarius too. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this other person whether you know about them or not is watching you i wouldn't be surprised um but yeah this person they know that they need to mature before you two can come back together i hope this part me speaking on this part made sense y'all um they sort of lost my train of um my train of thought my nephew he showed me a ring that he found and i'm like i don't know who that is i thought he was showing me it thinking it was mine and he was like, no, I found it. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that made me lose my train of thought. Okay, so what else is the mutual energy between my Sagittarius viewers and their love interests? What did I say? I'm about to show y'all that card. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. That first card that came out, I literally said it. Y'all both understand that y'all need to heal. Y'all both understand that y'all need to heal if y'all want to come back together and work on this connection. Y'all both know that, even your person. But whether they do so or not, that's all on them. But they know, they know they need to fix themselves if they want to fix this connection. They know that. But whether they do it or not, that's all up to them. But I see that you both, like I said, this person expects you to make things right. But you also expect them to make things right. So this person is waiting on you to ask for forgiveness. And you're waiting on them for them to ask you for their like for your forgiveness. Like y'all both are waiting on each other. But I see once again that y'all both want to come back to each other. Y'all both want to make things work. But like I said, it needs to be healing before that can happen. If y'all were just to come back together next week next month even two months from now things isn't gonna change it's gonna be the same damn cycle why because y'all didn't give enough time to work on yourselves okay so let's get into their energy dun, 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 dun. so my sagittarius love interest what is their energy towards my sagittarius viewers and the love connection they share uh, ha, ha, ha. Of course that would come out of course that would come out first card that came out that i laughed at is the three of pentacles my little ugly laugh my friends call it my gremlin laugh clarification on the six of wands mm. clarification on the high priestess mm -hmm. okay so three of pentacles self-explanatory they want to work on things with you they want to build with you but once again they know that you know, with the high priestess, they know they need alone time. They know why you left them. They know exactly why. So if they over here acting, playing like the victim, don't fall for it. They know exactly why you left. They know exactly why you gave them the cold shoulder. They know exactly why you're doing thing. You're doing the things that you're doing or that you did. And they also understand that they need to be alone. They know that with the high priestess, right? But... They still want to work on things with you with the Three of Pentacles. They do. They do. Now, the Six of Wands, clarified by the Page of Cups. This person seems to get a lot of attention from others. Whether that be other women, other men. I'm not too sure what they do for work or if they're just, you know, popular in your city or state. I see that this person gets a lot of attention from other people and that gasses up their ego. That builds their ego all the way to the tippity top, right? they always have someone like making love offers to them or they always have someone 
reaching out to them. They always have someone flirting with them. And like I said, that builds their ego. And I feel like that's the main issue. It's like, it seems like this person fell into temptation. And it's like, like I said, if you were to get back together with this person anytime soon, it's going to be a repeated cycle of them falling into temptation because instead of being apart and focusing and working on yourselves, y'all would be coming together and it's, it's just going to be the same thing. But I see that this person, a lot of people, you know, tries to get their attention or tries to talk to them. I do see that. Mm -mm -mm. They want to work on things with you, though, but it isn't really a good idea right now for you to fall into that. If you do, that's completely up to you. You have your own free will, but I see the cycle being repetitive. I see you getting hurt again. So my Sagittarius love interest, what is their love interest energy towards my Sagittarius viewers and their connections? See, they know. They want, and then that healing card came out again. With the mute card, they want to work on things with you, but they're not going to speak on that. They're not going to let it be known. They're not going to share that because they know that they need to learn their lesson. Like I said, they know why you walked away. They need to learn their lesson and they need to grow and heal in order for anything to actually work between you two. So yes, they want to get back together with you, but they're not going to speak on it. They know that you have a barrier up with them, barrier at the bottom of the deck. So I don't know if this person is going to heal. So I'm not even going to say with due time they're going to heal. They understand it. But I'm not getting the vibe that they're actually going to sit there and actively focus on healing. I don't. I don't see that. It may be a possibility, but I don't see that. I don't feel that. I don't hear that. It's more so on some like, well, it's easier to just stay the same. So I'm just going to stay the same. It's easier to stay the same. So I'm going to stay the damn same. That's what I'm getting. It's less work to stay the same. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Oracle deck that I created, which is the Mass Feelings Oracle COVID-19 edition. If you would like to purchase this, you can do so through the link in my description box. And this deck is also on sale right now. So definitely make sure you check it out if you haven't already. Okay, so my Sagittarius love interest. What is it that their love interest wants to tell my Sagittarius viewers? What is it that they want to share with them? Tell them. What is it? One card at a time, please. I stay silent when people mention you. So when their friends or family mention you or even that third party mention you, they stay silent. They don't speak on you. And I could, I could tell off of that mute card that came out in their energy they they don't speak on you to other people they don't they don't speak on you at all now i still love you that's self-explanatory this person still loves you this person still has deep feelings for you and then my life is not as together as it seems like i said it seems like this person gets a lot of attention from other people and although it builds their ego it doesn't really do much for them spiritually mentally like it doesn't do much for them in a positive sense like it just builds their ego. It just makes them feel like someone or like something. But that isn't really doing much for them. And then even then, it's like people, like I said, um, want to be with them or want to flirt with them or want to reach out to them. Whatever the case may be, people always want to be around your love interest, right? It seems like people always want to be around them. But it's like, you may see that as, oh, they're doing well, or oh, they're making good money, or whatever the case may be. But in reality, it's not what it seems. It is not what it seems. All right, so let's get into the future slash outcome. Let's get into the future slash outcome. What is the future slash outcome of this connection between my Sagittarius viewers and their love interests? What does the future hold for them? Oh, great. Power card. Let me find out. You finna go back. The Empress reversed. This connection is not gonna go anywhere. This connection is not gonna go anywhere. Clarification on the Eight of Swords. You're gonna beat yourself up. 
you're going to be beating yourself up. This person is going to come with their little apology or their little offer. You're going to fall for it. For some of y'all, you won't. But for the, the majority of y'all, I see you falling for it. And I see that it's going to be the same repeated cycle. It's not going to go anywhere. With the Empress Reverse, this connection is not going to grow and expand. Like I said, y'all need time apart to come back together for it to work. If you just give them a week or two weeks or a month or two months, nothing is going to happen nothing is gonna change it's gonna be the same old thing and then you're gonna be sitting there stressing upset with yourself that you accepted their offer nothing is gonna change so the outcome i see you going back i see them winning you over you going back and it being the same bs i see it being the same bs what advice does my sagittarius viewers need to hear regarding this love connection what advice do they need to hear? Nope, one card at a time. What advice do they need to hear? One card at a time, please. Just one card. What advice does my Sagittarius viewers? Okay. First card, always do your best. Love and nurture your body. Your own body is a manifestation of God, and if you honor your body, everything will change for you. Practice giving love to every part of your body. This will plant seeds of love in your mind. And when they grow, you will love, honor, and respect your body immensely. Let me reread that for y'all. Your own body is a manifestation of God. And if you honor your body, everything will change for you. Practice giving love to every part of your body. This will plant seeds of love in your mind. And when they grow, you will love, honor, and respect your body immensely. You know what that's saying? You know how I'm going to decipher that? Y'all know how I'm going to decipher that? Healing. You need to heal. Give yourself self-love. Don't sit here and try with this person again. Don't sit here and force a connection that isn't working out. Don't sit here and force a connection with a piece of shit that always cheats on you or always lies to you or makes you feel less than. Don't sit there and give your love to someone who is undeserving. Give your love to yourself. Give your love to yourself. Plant those seeds of love into yourself and watch it grow 2222 on the timestamp and watch yourself grow you might fuck around and outgrow this person and meet someone who's more aligned with you your advice is to focus on healing to focus on loving yourself that's it that's all but thank you for watching you guys make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already more videos to come the only signs i have left to do is capricorn and aquarius everything else is already up on my channel and Sagittarius, I also have a bunch of readings for y'all. I have the singles love reading. I have their current feelings. And I also have their next actions towards you for the rest of March. So definitely make, make sure you check that out before March ends. But thank you for watching, you guys. Have a good day, good night, whenever you see this.